G'day and welcome to our review of Evernote. Evernote is cloud-based notes, alright, and what you'll see is it works across all devices and smartphones. So here we've got Evernote on an iPhone for instance, and I click Evernote app and you'll see that I've got a few notes sitting in there. I'm going to click that top one and I've got a note that I've actually created on here. It says an Evernote note for Evernote. Hey! Evernote gives the ability to create great notes and can be accessed and edited across all of your devices ah, or through a browser. So let's add that in. So down here we hit the little edit button and we go, we're going to add in the top there or in a browser. Okay, so or in a browser and I'm just going to save that. And what I'll see now is that all right, that's saved away. Okay, sending changes. So if I went now and opened that same note on my iPad, for instance, click Evernote, and you'll see if I refresh this, that that change that I just made with the typo, of the capital O and all, is actually sitting in there. So you can start a note on one and uh, carry it on on another. Or you can actually go and do it on the internet as well. So let's just edit it now on the iPad. So as I click edit, I'm just going to say, all right, I'm going to tick here, okay, where I've said, yes, you can do it in tablets, on smartphones, uh, you can do it in browsers. There's actually Evernote for Mac or Windows that you can explore as well. It's really cool. All right, so, and I'm going to save that. So now I've just said you can also do it in a browser. So let's have a look at that. All right, so here, for instance, if I open Google Chrome, I've opened up Google Chrome and I'm going to go to evernote.com alright and I'm going to sign in right and as I sign in you'll see that I've got my notes there and there's the, the note that I've just been doing it so you can access it on all notes look this bloke even uses Evernote to run his farm that's awesome okay so we've had a look at a few things here alright so what else can you expect from Evernote? All right, well, you've also got that you can add and organize notes into notebooks, okay? You can add photos from camera roll. Uh, Evernote talks to heaps of different apps, and apps talk to Evernote, which is great. This searchable one, I'm going to show you that because it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going up here. I'm on the iPad. I'm going to go search notes, and I'm just going to search 3D and search. All right, and what you'll see is that 3D's come up in the uh, one note that I've written there, but it's also come up in this one. And when I click that one, what you'll notice, it's actually searched through my handwritten, okay, it's just a picture of a muck around screen I did, but there was 3D in there, and it's actually picked up my drawing as well. All right, so pretty amazing as well with that. So not only searches text, but it'll actually look for hand drawings in your drawings, which is pretty cool. Look, there's heaps of other features. I'm not going into them now. You can go to the site and have a look at them. There's also a premium version of the site uh, that gives you more storage, searchable PDFs, better sharing options, and so on. But I'm just keeping it simple for now. I've found a few other things that I found a little bit frustrating and so on, but the fact is, this is pretty awesome stuff, and it's free as well. You've obviously got to have an account for it all to synchronize, but it's well worth the explore. So I advise you to go and uh, give it a nudge, okay? Have a look for... Evernote, all right, and you can see you can do it on all of your devices, iPhones, iPod touches, Android devices, Slate devices, iPads, all sorts. So get into it and have a bit of fun. Excellent.